Hello friends! The story I brought to you today is called Dead Girl. This movie is directed by Marcel Sarmiento. This movie got IMDb rating 5.6 stars out of 10. We see an empty school at the beginning of the movie. There were no students in that school because everyone went out for lunch. Outside, a guy named Ricky tells his friend JT that if we had a girl in our life, like everyone else, we could have fun with him every night. At that time, a girl named Joanne walked past by his side. Jairiki loved this girl since childhood, but this girl already has a boyfriend named Johnny. JT said to Ricky, you're wasting your time for this girl. Joanne doesn't like it at all. Then they both went for a class bunk for having cigarettes and went out of school. JT says to Ricky he has beer, but they can't drink openly. So JT took Ricky to a madhouse that has been closed for a long time. No one travels there anymore. Then the two of them sit there drinking beer, spending a lot of time, and vandalizing the place. For a long time, they continue to vandalize. Then JT tells Ricky that if he's too brave, then he must go down to the basement and show him his bravery. Fearing a dog, the two of them entered a small place, and from there reached an unknown place. There was an old rusty closed door. They could not go back for the dog. They decided to open this closed door and find another way. They both opened the door with a rod. After opening the door, JT sees a strange thing which frightens him. There is a dead body of a girl with a plastic barrier. The girl wasn't dead, but how is it possible that the door they came through hasn't been opened for a long time? So how this girl entered there and how she's alive? Stay tuned for the rest of this video. They remove the plastic from the girl's body and sees that she has no clothes on. Ricky tried to call the police, but JT stops him because something else is going on in his head. He says that the girl is very beautiful and he wants to keep her with him forever. And then Ricky stops him, punches Ricky, and tells him to leave if he wants to get out of here. But he doesn't. He went to go out and talk to the girl. The next morning, he fires a gun to vent his anger. JT apologizes to Ricky and says that he should forgive him because they are childhood friends and wants to take Ricky back to the basement to show him something. JT says something that he is surprised to hear. JT says the girl wakes up and tries to free herself but she is completely chained. The girl could not shout or say anything. The girl tried to bite JT on the head in anger. So JT is angry. He kills the girl a lot and he has a lot of fun doing it. He keeps hitting the girl until he stops moving. Ricky tells him to call the police, but then JT took Ricky's gun to shoot the girl with the gun in his hand. He shoots him three times. Ricky thinks that the girl seems to be completely dead this time. Then he goes to the girl and sees that the girl is moving even after being shot. JT says Ricky, he tried to kill the girl three times, but she didn't die. Ricky thought he can't kill this girl. That means the girl was a dead girl for JT and Ricky. The next morning, Ricky sees Joanne in college with her boyfriend and gets jealous. Then Ricky wants a cigarette from a boy named Willer, but the boy leaves because he has to go see his girlfriend. Ricky misses Joanne when he is alone in his room, and he goes to the girl in the basement to satisfy his sexual desire. Ricky goes there and sees that Willer is already having sex with that girl. He got angry because he thought no one else knew about that girl. JT said he wouldn't tell anyone, but JT said there was no reason to worry. Ricky went out to buy an old cutter. He sold his bicycle to buy an old cutter. Ricky took the opportunity to talk to the dead girl. Ricky cuts off one of the girl's handcuffs with the cutter, and then the girl grabs his hand and he somehow loses his grip on the girl. Ricky hides at the sound of JT and Willer's footsteps. JT notices the dead girl with open handcuffs. Dead girl attacked JT. She has almost bitten JT. Then Wheeler found them and they again tied up the dead girl. They knew it was done by Ricky. When Ricky was hiding in a room, he saw a small tree in a room, the story of this tree. Friends, we will discuss this at the end of the video. Ricky somehow manages to escape from there. JT and Wheeler have made the dead girl turn into a sex slave and they started using her. Suddenly, Willer notices the body of the dead girl started rotting. This means she can't recover from her wounds. The next morning in college, Ricky asks Joanne to go on a date, but the girl tells him that she has a boyfriend, Johnny. Johnny, knowing this incident, started beating both Ricky and Wheeler. Being angry, Wheeler told Johnny that they don't need their girlfriend, they got a sex slave, and his friend drives Ricky and Wheeler to the asylum. Ricky tells Wheeler to keep his mouth shut, but Wheeler tells him everything. After hearing this, Johnny goes to the dating girl in the basement and sees him. Do whatever you want with the girl. Hey, on hearing this, Johnny goes to the girl and then the girl bites on his private part 
and from there he starts bleeding a lot. Then Johnny tells JT to call the police. He will tell the police that Johnny tried to rape the girl, so the girl attacked him. It scared Johnny, and from there he and his friend leave. Johnny hits the girl in the face to get rid of her, so the girl's face looked bad. Ricky proposes to Johnny again, and JT never came to college. He lived in that insane asylum, and who made that basement his house? JT used the dead girl all the time as a slave. He tries to fix the girl by applying makeup on the girl's face. The dog moves when JT puts lipstick on the girl's lips. And then JT wants to kill the girl with the dog, but the dead girl's bite kills the dog. While in college, Johnny feels a strange thing and he runs to the bathroom, and he sees his body slowly getting dead. This scene is cut here. A picture of an actress is stuck in her face by JT, so that her face doesn't look bad. A friend of Johnny comes there to open the dead girl, but it allowed dead girl to bite him. JT understood whoever the dead girl bites, he or she becomes like dead girl. JT realized this and so he goes to a gas station with Wheeler. From there, he will catch a girl and make her a fresh dead girl and use her, but they both can't kidnap that girl. Then Joanne comes in and asks them what they did to Johnny. They keep trying to persuade Johnny to take her to asylum and use her as they please. On the other hand, Ricky, annoyed by all this, he thought he would kill the dead girl by cutting her into pieces. Ricky goes to the basement to kill the dead girl. He hears Joanne's voice from behind and tells him that he will save her. Ricky doesn't understand what Joanne is doing here. JT and Wheeler then go there and they tell Ricky that they are going to transform Joanne and make a dead girl and use her as you wish, trying to convince Ricky that she helps Joanne become a dead girl because they are childhood friends and Joanne will never like her anymore and she would rather kill him than love Ricky. And then Wheeler tries to touch Joanne and angrily cuts off Ricky's hand with a sword. JT again tells Ricky that Joanne will never love him and by then the dead girl opens her arms and attacks Wheeler. And at this point of time, Ricky tries to escape by opening Joanne, but they reach the door and find that the door is closed. Ricky is there. He says to stay, and he goes to look for things to open the door. When he comes back, he sees Joanne not there. He sees the dead girl eating JT and sees him. Then the dead girl comes up to him and pushes him away without doing anything to open the door. Ricky sees that. When Joanne is bleeding profusely from her stomach, the girl says that she was stabbed. JT says he can save Joanne, but Ricky doesn't want that. Ricky tells Joanne, I love you, when he was dying. Joanne doesn't reply to him. He spits in his face. The scene is tilted here. Ricky finally sees the dead girl running away from the asylum. Ricky is seen happy from then on. And in the afternoon, he goes to the basement of the asylum, where there was a lot of romantic lights. We see Joanne, and she was dressed and she was alive. That is, Joanne became a dead girl. And that's where the movie ends. Explanation of the Dead Girl Friends, believe it or not, it was a kind of zombie movie. I'll tell you how it turned out to be a zombie movie. Dead Girl Ricky and Got JT, she was so fresh and she couldn't talk. A dead girl whose room would be infected, JT and Wheeler using the dead girl as a slept. Wheeler tells all the truth about the dead girl in front of Johnny and dead girl bites Johnny. And Johnny becomes infected, realizing that he wants to take Joanne with Wheeler and make them a dead girl. Ricky loves Joanne from a young age, but the girl never cares for him, and when Ricky proposes to the girl, the girl doesn't answer. So Ricky hits the girl with JT, and the girl is a dead girl. What happens to the dead girl is not shown in the movie, but Ricky saw a tree that had flowers. It was the only tree that survived there, so it can be assumed that the asylum doctor was using immortal drugs on crazy people, which might have been made from this tree whose side effects would have turned people into living corpses. Or maybe there's some other reason. Friends will let us know what you think in the comment box, and if you like the video, please like and share.